I have my blank Moodle page all ready to go, but I want to make it look a bit more visual and interesting for my students. So what do I do? In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the ways in which you can improve the look and feel of your Moodle page by adding course headers, cleaning up things you don't need, and customising the grid. So let's get started. First, let's do some tidying up. We have a number of blocks over here on the right, and I'm not sure I'm going to need them all, so I'm just going to delete them all for now. I can always add them back again at a later point if I need them. Now let's add a course header. I want to find the small settings icon right at the top of the page which is labelled Edit Summary. Now I could just add an image in here, but I want to do something a little bit more interesting using a hidden feature called Pano Wrapper. To use this I need to add a small chunk of code into the section. At the moment, the editor is only set up for typing plain text, so I need to change this into a code window. Expand the editing toolbar until you can see this small icon labelled HTML. Click on this and we can now enter our code. I've added the code I'm using in the description below. Simply copy that code and paste it into this window. Switch back to the standard editing window and we can now customise our header. Simply select the text and start typing to change the title and subtitle. To change the image, I need to find a good one I can use. I'm going to have a look in Pixabay for this. They have lots of images that are free to use. I need an image that is wide and short. If it's too tall, then students will find it annoying to have to scroll down past it every time they open the page. I will search for banner headers and look for one I like. I like this paper effect design here. It's free to use, so I can download it. To change the image, click on the image first, then on the Picture Properties icon. Upload my new image and give it a description. Save and close. Now that I have my header set up, let's look at what we can do with these grid images. You can upload any images you want as grid icons, but I find that using photo images can make the page look a little cluttered. Plus, the relevance of the photographic images can sometimes be a little obscure to students. What I want is to add simple images that provide clarity and consistency. For this, I'm going to use another website, LogoMaker. I've included a link to this website in the description below. Here, we can create free images using one of the millions of examples they have to offer. I really like some of their abstract designs, so I'm going to go with this nice geometric effect. Click on the T icon to add text, and add the name of our first section. Now I want to make the text stand out a little more from the background here, so I'll reduce the opacity of the shape to something around 30% and change the text colour to black. I can change the font as well if I want, but I quite like this Concert One font, so I'll stick with that. Now click on Save. If you want a high resolution copy of your image, then you're going to have to pay for it. But for our purposes, we really don't need high resolution. So I'm just going to go ahead and download the free low resolution version. Give the file a name. Great. Now we can go back to the image and make some small adjustments. Change the color of the image. 
change the text and save again. Keep going until you have all the images for your sections. Now we can start adding our icons. Click on Change Image next to the section you want and simply drag the image you've saved in. Repeat with the other sections. Now this looks good. But I'm sure there are some things we can do to make it look even better. So I'm going to go into the course settings and scroll down until I can see the settings for the grid. Now there are so many different options in here to change the appearance of the grid. If you want to know about them all, I've posted a link to our full guide in the description below. For now though, I just want to change a few things. Currently, the icon looks a little small inside its box. This is because it's being scaled down. If I change this to crop, the image will appear bigger. The other thing I don't like is this grey square around the image. The image contains circles, and this grey square seems slightly jarring surrounding it, so I want to get rid of it. I can't turn the border or the background off, but I can make them invisible by turning them the same white colour as the main course background. So I'll go to the border colour and click on the icon to change it. Now we do have this colour picker here, but it's really difficult to find and select an exact colour from this. So I'm just going to type out the code for white instead. Now the code for white is very simple. It's six Fs type this in and bingo we have a white border. Do the same for the background and now we have our images looking much more organic and tidy. So the last thing we need to do is remember to change the titles for our sections. It's important to do this so that students using screen readers will be able to navigate to the right sections. To change a section title, click on the title, type in the new name and press return. So that's it! We've made a real start on designing a Moodle page that is attractive and engaging. If this video was useful, please hit like and if you want to keep up with our video guides, just click on subscribe.